Digital Content subscribers, my name is Molly, and today we are going to be talking about horses in the logging industry. Horses were commonly used to pull logs from heavily wooded areas. Usually, heavy draft horses were used for this. Now we're going to go through each one of the draft horses that were commonly used for this practice. First, we have the Belgian draft horse. This horse originated in Belgium and is unique because it lacks feathering or long hair around its hooves. Um, and this is especially important because it was easier for the horse to maneuver in dense brush, um, which was necessary to pull logs out of the forest. Um, next we have the Persian. This horse actually lacks that feathering, so it was a little bit easier for this horse to maneuver in the forest. Um, this horse originated in France and is known for its strength and stamina. Next we have the Clydesdale. The Clydesdale originated in Scotland. It's named for the River Clyde in Scotland. This horse does have that feathering, but is usually massive, so it can make up for that feathering with its incredible strength. Next we have the Shire. The Shire originated in England and is the world's tallest horse breed. Uh, this horse is known for its easygoing temperament and it's ideal for training, which was very important for logging horses. And lastly, we have the Suffolk Punch. This horse is extremely rare and there's less than 500 in the world today. Um, this horse came close to extinction in the 1950s. Um, these horses are actually generally shorter, usually 15 to 16 hands, with a much stockier build than other draft horses. Uh, this horse is almost always chestnut in color. It originated in Suffolk, England, and is the oldest native horse breed in Britain. During the earlier times of the logging industry, oxen were more commonly used. Later, horses were switched to because they were cheaper to feed and they were more agile and maneuverable in the forests because oxen weren't as conducive to the hilly landscape and the wet conditions during the summer months here in Michigan. Horses became especially important as logging industries depleted resources along lakes and rivers and had to move more inland where the forest was a lot thicker and there was a lot more brush. Um, because of this uh, aspect of Michigan forests, logging was done primarily in the winter time. They were able to slide the logs along the icy roads. And to help the horses with this, they had spiked horseshoes to allow better grip for the horses when they were skidding the logs either out of the forest or towards the lumber mill. Single horses could usually be used to haul lower density trees or softwoods, which included pine or cedar, and teams of horses, or even three to four horses, were needed to haul higher density trees or hardwoods, including birch and hickory. Lumbermen that worked with horses had to know their horses very well. One logger stated, you can damage a horse's psyche really, really easily if you scare them. They are a big flight animal, so their instinct when they aren't comfortable is to run. It's a bad situation when you have runaways, and it's hard to correct. The best thing you can do for a horse is work him all the time. And a logging horse has to be cleverer than a plow horse. A plow horse just puts one foot in front of the other. Your logging horse has to figure out situations like skidding around a tight corner or backing up when the skid gets wedged. Later, the big wheel, a wagon pulled by horses, was invented by Silas Overpack of Manistee, Michigan. This was especially important because it allowed lumbermen to work during all four seasons of the year instead of just the winter time. Its larger wheels allowed for the wood to be hauled through deep mud in the wet summers of Michigan. There are still small groups of people who use horses as their main tool to log their forests. This is seen as more environmentally sustainable than heavy machinery and is actually gaining in popularity. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in our next video.